Hey, hey, I'm Spiritual T. Want to try something fun? Okay, look, first off, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Click on the bell so you know when I'm posting another one. Send a donation. All of that is linked in the description box. Book a session with me. All of that is linked in the description box. And that's how you get in contact with me. Oh, also take advantage of the Always Manifest Money ritual. Y'all get in where you fit in, all right? Start manifesting, okay? So let's do something fun. Let's do a pick a card, but we're just going to pick three cards from each deck. And then we're also going to pull some oracle cards for each deck, okay? So these are the two decks. If you need to pause the video to get to feel what you feel and you know gain some insight be sure to do that but these are the two decks these are the two decks ah ah buzz it get it a and shout out to the color blue maybe blue is significant to you in some way all right so let's get into this one we're just gonna do one shuffle y'all one shuffle that's it and we're gonna pick the top three cards interesting mm. okay all right so let's get into this one you have the lovers the ace of wands and the eight of cups i'm getting so much information from this that i'm like eh. all right so i feel like some of you you have an option you have a choice right clearly you do but if this is two people, you walking away from both of these motherfuckers, okay? Put a like on a video if you with shits. You walked away from both of these motherfuckers if this has to do with love. I feel like some of you, you said, oh, well, these are the two options. Let me go find the third one because this is not working out for me, right? This could even pertain to, like, um, like house hunting. lip gloss break okay i hate when the lip gloss does that why does it do that right there okay anyway this could even pertain to um house hunting apartment hunting um and you you're like well i don't really like the options that i've been given so let me keep it moving some of you you were presented with a choice and it was either you can like i heard put up and shut up but I feel like really you could work hard for what it is. You could put in the work or you could just decide to walk away and leave things where they're at and not show any effort into the situation whatsoever. I feel like somebody you're like deciding if you should stay and if you should go in a situation. Also, also this is like a real life change that is coming for someone. I also feel like, wow, I just saw Natural Born Later and these Oracle cards, y'all also feel like um i'm also getting like an ultimatum for somebody like either you do this or i'm out you could be giving somebody an ultimatum either you do this or i'm out of here what is this i ghosted so that you would chase me but you didn't so now i'm really angry with you wow that, so that's the oracle card in pile one okay and you also have i want to dim your light some of you, you've made a decision based on that. Wow. And then look, promotions. Promotions and recognition for pile number one. And also, don't leave me behind for pile number two. So I think we confirmed what the situation is. We literally clarified it, that that's the situation. Somebody is off to something new and... Um, I'm really getting the story, y'all, that somebody didn't value you. Somebody undervalued your worth. They chose other options over you. And they ended up, sorry, y'all, if it's a little staticky and glitchy. So, um, yeah, they chose other people over you. You know, they didn't see your shine. They didn't see your light. And they walked away. Somebody ghosted you. It literally says here, I ghosted you so that you would chase me, but you didn't. So now I'm pissed. Yeah so when they ghosted you it was like well okay like i'm gonna do the things that i'm meant to do some of you you had a big creative opportunity come in for you where you could have some new abundance in life and it's like as soon as this person like looked up or maybe depleted their other options in some way 
as soon as they looked up, they were like, oh, shit. Wow, you had bossed up, you glossed up, or maybe they turned on the TV and you was on the motherfucking TV. Put a like on the video. Claim that shit. Leave a comment if you resonate with this message. All right? So by the time they decided to come back, you was already gone into this big promotion. Mind you, y'all, all of the messages I've been sharing for a long time was, um, and part of my nails, y'all, I, I gotta get a manicure tomorrow, but a lot of the messages has have been a, a glow up, a gloss up, and people just being shocked that you came into this. A lot of the channelings on this platform have, have also been for celebrities and those who are destined for stardom. It's literally a part of your life's purpose. Wow, put a like on the video if it's a part of your life's purpose to be a star, to be a celebrity. But somebody's going to be big pissed because you, you moved on and you're not taking them back. And that's just what it is. You you chose yourself. For whoever this is, you chose yourself. You chose your purpose. You chose your career. And that's it. So now let's get into deck number two. As you know, we're going to give it just one shuffle. And we're going to pick the three top cards. Baby, all right. <laughs> Who chose deck number two? Okay. So we have the four of pentacles, the devil, and the nine of pentacles. And I always read energy like this. Y'all, first off, I read cards differently anyway. And I love that about myself, okay? We're a live motherfucking oracle. Don't need these damn cards. But for entertainment purposes right because we are a star around here um i do pull out the cards so really y'all what i'm getting in, in this energy is you needing to get certain things in order for your finances to come in because you're going to have somebody is going to have an influx of finances and i feel like somebody out there you picked both decks and that's what it is it's kind of like a continuation from the first story here a little bit it's like but let's just do it separately okay that's crazy because in the beginning i was like i'm gonna set them apart and then i'm gonna combine the stories wow i guess i kind of intuitively knew that that's what was happening but anyway this is a business endeavor i'm getting nothing but money like i like i really like seeing the four of pentacles with the devil card and it depends on the energy though but with the nine of pentacles here i like that i really do like it i feel like somebody you're on your destined path or you've just embarked on a destined path like i was saying somebody out there you're already an accomplished celebrity you're already in the spotlight you're just moving higher and higher and further and further on your path um you're gonna be accumulating a lot of money okay you're going to be getting a lot of money coming in to you and um i feel like it's definitely going to be a part of or tied to your talents your skill set um somebody is an artist you can sing somebody's also really good with money so you could be well known like in the finance area like nft maybe or bitcoin or something like that there's somebody there um somebody is on that path but this person i feel um yeah, because like in this pile too, I'm getting another person. I'm getting a, a person that is infatuated with you and can't really let you go here, right? I always kind of get that a little bit of that energy with this card, um, especially with the Four of Pentacles too. It's really like kind of wanting to hold on to somebody and something. Some of you, this is pertaining to you holding on to the idea that money isn't good, that you can't have it, it's not available to you. And if you do have it, it means that you're evil, right? You're not supposed to love money. If you love money, you're the devil, right? Somebody is like going through that whole thought process in their mind. Also, you could be wondering what other people are thinking about you, like they could be thinking that about you and you're just replaying that in your mind. But somebody here, you're destined for this type of life. And yeah, you may have some people who are wanting to hold on to you. I have powerful psychic at the bottom of the deck. This could definitely be pertaining to your gifts. Somebody's making money off of their gifts. Like in pile two, like I'm telling you, that's what's going on in pile two. Also, I'm, I am getting somebody who's watching you. 
Yeah, don't talk to me. Talk to God, right? Some of you, this is pertaining to like addictions and cycles of behavior that you're trying to get out of, but also I feel like you're cutting out toxic behaviors and toxic people. You also have wear all white. Somebody could be getting married, but anytime I get that card, it's, it's also, <clears throat> excuse me, it gives me like a purity, a cleansing. Some of you are needing to cleanse your energy because you just have, um, you just have people tied to your energy I'm getting for pile two, okay? Spirit animals. Tap into your spirit animals, y'all. And we literally do see her communicating with that fox there. Tap into your spirit animals. I feel like the nature spirits are really going to benefit you. In the original Nine of Pentacles card, we have the woman who's in the garden and the bird is on her shoulder. Literally, that's the energy I'm getting here. You, you communicate with nature. You communicate with animals. And if you tap into that energy, it's going to be highly beneficial to you, especially when it comes to like manifesting, I'm getting, okay? What else for power number two? Tap into this energy. Some of you, you are godly. Somebody, you're making money off of your spiritual gifts. Be mindful of your time, what you're giving your energy to, who you're tapping into, okay? So now let's put both of these together. So that's that's the thing. Some of you, you, you cut out a toxic relationship. Wow, and you're moving towards soulmate energy. Look at that, literally. So that's why the wear all white card came in for some of you. Some of you, you're getting married this year or 2023. If you need to confirm that book a reading with the links in the description box. Um, others of you, somebody is literally watching you move on with your life. They're watching you become this star, this celebrity, this guy, this, this, this powerhouse. They're literally watching you get promoted and recognized. Um, you're going to need to make time for prayer for some of you you're going to have to be tapped into your spirituality especially with the devil card here just to kind of um get away from toxic cycles and addictions right because with money comes access and resources and the divine wants to make sure that you are you know aligned with your purpose aligned with your call it's not just about money this is what you're meant to do right so that is somebody's message and yeah be mindful of the motherfucking stalkers out here in the bobblehead bitches who think that they're entitled to what you have. So, yeah, that's a thing. But anyway, thank you for the um, for tapping into the pick a card reading. Leave a comment. Let me know if you like the pick a cards. Um, also, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your donations. I have candles for you when you donate to the channel. And I will see you on the next message. Peace and love.